Professor Wargley is here continuing on with media play. We saw that we had to connect the FXML media view to the FXML file. That's why we have this variable up here at the top. We created a media player object. We also needed to create a media object. So we insert the media into the media player, and then we insert the media player into the media view. So now I'm embedding this audio file into the view. I can also play and embed videos as well. So right now we've seen audio files. Let's change it to Tom and Jerry mp4. So earlier we we're playing mp3s. Now we're going to play an mp4. And Java is very limited on what it can play. Okay, so media can only be a certain range of types of files. A lot of students have had trouble in the past. They were trying to play specific audio files or specific video files and they weren't playing and the reason was because Java can only handle certain types of audio and video formats. There were some students who downloaded third-party libraries that would handle additional formats but by default JavaFX, Java will only handle certain types of formats. So let's see the video format here. Now you'll see how powerful this is. By embedding a media object into my JavaFX application, I can make a very nice user experience and I can increase the likelihood of my application. Okay, so I can make my application more fun. And just like an audio file, if I pause and play or resume, if I stop, play it's going to start back from the beginning now you don't have to have it on your local machine this resource can also be a link to a server so let's take a look at that instead of linking to my local machine let's link to a server so here when I'm creating a media object when I pass in the parameter to the constructor instead of getting a resource I can put a link so I can put HTTPS I put the same video up on my server. So if you go to professorwergelies.com forward slash Tom and Jerry dot MP4, I believe this is the correct link. If not, we can take a look. So I should be able to load this from a server as well. Go ahead, run the project. After running, you'll see the video loads. So essentially, it's going to go to that link, grab the video embed that video into the application. But the only way this will work is if you have an internet connection. So if an internet connection is not 100%, then you can embed the video into your application. But the problem with embedding the video into your application is it makes your application very large. You'll see this video is fairly big because it's a video. And when I export this project, the video will be included, which will make the entire project large. So it would be recommended to host it from a CDN or have it up on some server. That way your project is small, but it will assume that there's internet connectivity. Last little bit that I wanna show you is on the media player, we can have it set to play automatically. So on the media player, they have different functions and attributes. I can set autoplay to true, which will play as soon as the application starts, which is good for debugging. Because on the current challenge, you're gonna to have to open up an audio file and play it several times. And if you have to do that manually, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. But here you'll see the application started playing automatically which will make it easy for debugging. So let's say I wanted to change the video size. I can change the video size, run the app, the video will load and play automatically. And same for the current challenge. On the current challenge, you have to open up a video or open up an audio file, play it, test it, make sure it works, do some editing. 
And that's going to be very repetitive if you don't set autoplay equal to true. So this makes debugging a little bit easier, but I would recommend not to have this on your production version, just depending on what you're trying to build. Okay, that's all for this lecture. We looked at how to open up an audio file as well as a video file from our local machine, as well as video files from the server. And if I had an audio file up on the server, it would be the same. I would just change this link to MP3 or one of the accepted audio or video formats, and it would also play from the server as well. So this is how you open up audio and video. I'm gonna show you how to use that to help make the audio visual challenge easier. So stick with Professor Wergelis. And we'll see you in the next video.